this is the distance the total distance that Steve has got to run to try to beat the 103 year old woman's uh, record for the 100 meters that's 109 yards not 100 yards proper so we're measuring this off to see the you distance that like she the ran and then intern Steve is going to try to run it right here and uh, you know we'll just uh, get an accurate measurement here at the end of the thing right here and, oh oh hell it says it right there on the wall I don't need that. All right. All right, well, let's do this then. Uh, we could have told you that. All right, Steve. The circle is the line. Not the play, the circle. Here comes Steve. He's coming. He's running hard up the line. I mean, he really looks like a real sprinter at this point, guy. I'm amazed at his time. He Boy, is, he's however, scooting. wearing denim, and he's wearing no sole support shoes. He's coming. Get to the get to the circle. There's his time. Head on. I forgot to start the clock. Oh well, it's fine. Really? How do you feel? Tired. Let's walk it back. Let's walk it back. <laughs> Let's catch your breath. We're gonna give you one more time. As any you know, as any good experiment does, you can't only do it once. You have to have a control in the actual experiment. Do you want to talk to, to the guys about the conditions? Do you want more dirt? Would you like uh, would you like a, a obstacle in the way? Would that help any? Something you could hurdle? Can we get a little less wind? You want less wind? Okay, they're gonna work on it. They're ground. They they're more more ground minded than air. But I get you. <laughs> How did it feel? Pretty good. How tough were the uh, jeans to run in, Steve? Uh, it was more, the jeans weren't so bad. Yeah. It's the shoes. The shoes. We'll go back to the finish line. I'm going to roll an actual time on this one this time. You didn't take the time. I forgot that part. But the important part is, <laughs> the important part is that we're going to get the officially sanctioned one this time. Yeah. You know, that's what's important. You don't always get second chances in life, Steve. No. That's a great point, Jim Jaworski of the Daytona Tortugas. All right, Steve is off. I am going to subtract 0.9 seconds off of his time. It's kind of down. He's really making great time. Wow, this is a remarkable speed. He's setting a blistering pace right here, Steve. Let's do it. Wow, Steve! That is a hot 17.98. Take that, 103-year-old woman. Take that. In her face, dude. In her face. In your face. Right. She uh, Look, she was probably wearing $150 Mizuno running shoes. That had probably like a back brace. You just ran it in, in like jeans. You probably got stuff in your pockets too, don't you? Oh, I took all that out. Oh, okay, that's a good idea. All right, well, Steve, you just set what is a, an outstanding record for, you know, not 103-year-old women, I guess. Uh, how do you feel? Tired. I mean, look out over this beautiful ballpark, at Jackie Robinson Ballpark, and just imagine... You're the only person that has ever whipped a 103-year-old woman's ass in this park. Probably, I would imagine, right? I hope so. Yeah, all right. Well, congratulations, Steve. Jim Jaworski, thanks very much for letting this happen. Uh, it's, uh, it's a big day for, uh, for America, really. Daytona Beach, you just, whipped, you just got history right there. That's what it's all about, man.